Well, the referees are Robert Lecco and David Crescent Crescentini from uh, Italy and Serbia will be uh, watching this uh, first semi-final very carefully. I have to say, Dave, both the Dutch sides have looked very impressive and they've got massive support this season because Holland will be hosting the 2015 World Championships. They've put a lot of support behind their players to come good at the right time of the season. Well, you're absolutely right and everybody's preparing for those World Championships and what better way than to finish strong here at the first major series event of the year. Very important for Canada to get the first point score on the board. Canadians will need as much help as they can get against the Dutch players. Canada in red and the Dutch players in their familiar orange and white shirts for Holland or the Netherlands. <laughs> Great hit right there by the Netherlands. Starting off extremely strong. You know that Numador can see the court so well. Instead of going cross court, he decides to go down the line. And you can see how meticulous he is with his shots. If I am the Netherlands, if they can receive serve and side out well, they'll be in great shape. They've done it the entire tournament, and they, that has put so much pressure on the opposition. It's an interesting trend we've seen throughout the weekend, that jump float serve, and a lot of people are missing it long. You want to keep that serve in, especially early on in the match, to kind of get a feel for what the other team is doing. You don't want to have these unforced errors early, as you saw Canada just do. Good shot there at the net from Sam, Sam Schachter. A little bit of a shank pass, but Schachter with a beautiful roll shot to the sand. Schachter with service for Canada. Oh, a tricky set. Ooh, a uh, good powerful spike from at Nurmador, but uh, Schachter sees it coming. Good work again from the defence player for Canada. Schachter comes up for the attack, blocked at the net by Varenhorst to tie the scores at 3 all. Beautiful playing on both sides right now. Both teams ready to go. We don't see any signs of fatigue. We don't see any signs that it's been a long week and the heat. These Four players look extremely fresh and ready to go. Look at that big serve by Vadenhorst. Chalk up an ace. He's a big lad as well, isn't he, Dane? Six feet 11, 211 centimeters by far. The tallest player on the court and taking full advantage of those long levers. Look how he powers that serve down. That's almost impossible to receive. And I'd love to start seeing the speed of the ball. That's got to be one of the next technical advances for us in beach volleyball. Oh, a little too much drop on the ball. Sends it right into the net. I really like his serve, though. He goes for it. He's got that traditional jump serve. He tries to beat you to the punch with a lot of velocity. So he might err a few times, but that serve is going to rack him up a few aces. Binstock with service for Canada. For all in the first set here in the semi-final of the Swatch Beach Volleyball Major Open Major Series, I should say, and a porridge, 5-4 to the Dutch. That was a spectacular hit by Rainer Numidor. Look at the sharp angle. He sees the court, the big double arm lift. They're playing that shot, but he hits it just too sharp to dig. Oh, well, uh, Reinder Numidor thought that was long, but it was right on the line. Allows Canada to keep the scores equal at 5 all. This is uh, Sam Schachter going back to serve. That's a lovely slow-mo to show us clearly that if the ball touches any part of the line, it is in. Service too long from Schachter of Canada. Good call from the Dutch duo. Gives them the lead. And uh, Holland will serve. Here's this big serve again from Varenhurst. Oh, decides to float this time. 
It's going to be tough to get against that man at the net, isn't it? Sock six feet eleven, and he hangs there, Dave, for so long. Well, that was absolutely beautifully timed. He waited. He knew that it wasn't going to be a hard hit. It was going to be a poke shot. And look at the timing. Waits jumps a little bit later, and he just slams it down. Ooh, unlucky there with service. Lots of service errors right now. As soon as they win the point, it seems like both teams want to give it right back by serving out of bounds. They're trying, to obvi obviously, to score the point, but too many service errors early. Here's the Canadian, Josh Binstock, with service, the 34-year-old from uh, Richmond, Ontario. Here's the big man from the Dutch team. Oh, he gets a bit of his own medicine. <laughs> and Binstock enjoyed that. Well, it's a bit of revenge right there. He saw a block happen by Vadenhorst, and he wants to come right back and give it to the Netherlands, and that's exactly what he does. Beautiful form, keeps that arm up, and celebrates nicely. Sam Traxer, it was that made the block there. It is Binstock, Josh Binstock with service, 7-0. Canada playing well here to keep up with the Dutch. That ball, no touch right there. It sails out of bounds. Vardenhorst wishes that he got a touch call from the head referee, but there was no touch. He just missed that. You take your eye off it in the last second, and that's what can happen. Binstock again with service. Here's the big man, Vardenhorst. Cross court cuts that beautifully. Very powerful. Vardenhorst getting up huge. I mean, I'm not sure who you go to on the Dutch side because they're both such great players. Of course, Numidor is the smaller of the two, but Vardenhorst has such range and is so tall. It's a scary option for the Canadians. <laughs> Oh, well, it didn't quite work going on the second ball, but when they got themselves back into position and a good set, Holland put a very important point away. Raider Numidor is such a great player, so experienced, 38 years of age. He's six foot four. As you mentioned earlier, he has 11 gold medals to his name on the FIVB tour. So he's been around the block 10 seasons on tour. He knows exactly how to get to the top of the podium. And he knows how to get the best out of his player. He's playing partner, Christian Varenhorst. He really does do a, a great job as captain of the Dutch team. Well, he absolutely does. And that's a good combination when you, you have a new player coming up, a guy with athletic ability like Varenhorst, who's young, 25 years of age. You want to get with a veteran like Numidor, 38. I mean, 13 years his senior to show you the ropes, show you the way. Here's Numidor. Oh, that's a lovely dig from Schachter. Oh, a touch of the net and a touch of the net from Canada. That gives uh, the Netherlands now a three-point advantage. And as we get to the mid part of the first set, already we can see the Dutch starting to stamp their authority in the early part of this game. Well, they're flustering the Canadians at the moment right now. They are sealing the net, putting up a solid block. The defense in the backcourt is being hovered by Reinder Numidor with all the experience. So right now, a lot, not a lot of openings for the Canadians. They're going to have to somehow try to manufacture some points by serving tough and trying to get the Dutch out of sync. Good service again from uh, Numidor. Oh, hello. The luck is on the side of the Dutch players at the moment. It rolls along the top of the net and tips onto the Canadian side. Well, do you see what's happening right now? They're trying to be too sharp on some of their shots. And when you try to be too particular, try to be too sharp, sometimes it just rolls on the net and back to your side. Here's Numidor again on the attack. Great shot, reading the play so well, as our expert Dane Blanton has pointed out, a very experienced player, and there's a classic example of how experience plays to your advantage, Dane. Well, he absolutely knows exactly what to do right now. It's not always about the power. That's a nice little knuckle poke shot down the line. 
and a kill is a kill. Numidor is going to get it any way he can, and he knows how to pace himself so that if he wins this, he's ready to go in a final. Well, uh, the Dutch uh, looking confident as expected already in control, I'd say, of this first set, leading the Canadians by 13 to 8. They have completely taken control early on, and the Canadians don't really have an answer right now. Where do you go on the court? Such a tall player at the net in Vardenhorst, and Numidor in the backcourt playing such stellar defense. He's making it look easy right now, and that's causing all sorts of problems for Canada. Canada has to take some risks, be a little bit more aggressive, and try to create their own luck. Touch call right there. Looked like a little bit of a discrepancy, but the line judge saw it right away that that ball right off the hands of Varnhorst and out of bounds. So this is uh, Sam Tractor with service for Canada. The Canadians need a good roll here. That's a very good, powerful jump serve. See how difficult it is for Numidor to get the receive, but uh, great play from uh, the Dutch once again. I really like that serve by Schachter, but Varnhorst gets it, and check this camera angle out. The elevation levitating above the sand, both players showing how high that nice vertical leap is. Well, the float serve is a little too long from uh, Varnhorst. That uh, allows Canada to claw a point back, but they're still four behind. Here's the captain for the Canadian team, uh, Josh Binstock. Into Numidor. There's Varen Horst at Numidor now. Oh, good block. Good block from Josh Binstock off his service. And a very important point. A beautiful angle press with his right hand. Look at this right hand. The left hand's in the angle, right hand's on the line, and then he targets it back into the court. Very difficult to do when the ball's moving at that type of velocity. Here's the big man for Holland, Varenhorst. Oh, oh, once he gets that arm action in, he can find some amazing power and speed on the ball. Yeah, he's got a solid arm. Sometimes a big man doesn't have a, a good arm. He's got a good swing, good techniques. He's very fluid, and he gets up, and he gets everything out of that with that nice whip action in his right arm. Oh, what a sensational dig that was from Numidor. Right at his feet to keep the ball up. Oh, but a nice little tip over the top of Varenhorst gives Canada the point. It seems like Canada's starting to settle in. They're starting to get in their groove. The thing is, can they make up this three-point difference? Because the experience on the side of the Dutch with Numidor, when he gets a lead, he very often gives it back up. Disappointment there for Reinder Numidor. You called it perfectly. Dane, the uh, Canadians finding a little bit of momentum now. Absolutely. They're switching it up. A deep little movement float serve. The set is not in the optimum position. It's in the middle of the court. So when he hits the angle shot, he runs out of real estate. There's not enough court over there and he's a little bit disappointed in himself. Sam Schachter with service for Canada. Oh, that's another good serve. Oh, Valenhorst bumping into his partner, Numidor. And they're out of position here. The Dutch scrambling, and they pay the price. Canada now within one point of the Dutch team. 14-15, Sam Schachter's service run continues. 
Shakhtar looking really good defensively and when he has the opportunity to put that ball away. That's exactly what the Canadians needed to do to switch the momentum and get themselves back into this first set. Binstock and Schachner winning an event last year in Piranha 2014. So they have that experience. They have tasted it once before. So they know what they need to do, and they're starting to get in their rhythm, into their groove. You can tell at the beginning they weren't really playing like themselves, almost like they played in some of their pool play matches where they dropped a couple. But now they're back on track, they're playing steady, and they realize the opportunity that they have here in this first major series. This would be for huge Olympic qualifying points. That's a good point that you make, Jane. And credit where it's due to the Canadians, because a lot of teams would have let it go. They'd have thought, that's it, we're never going to claw this back, let's focus on winning the second set. But these guys have really dug deep. Tenacity is the name of the game from the Canadians. And the reward is that they are now just one point behind the Dutch. They were trailing by five just a few minutes ago. So let's see if Sam Schachter, after the timeout, can keep the momentum going here. Here's Numidor on the attack. Oh, and he just catches. Binstock running backwards. That means he's unable to direct the ball correctly. Well, Binstock, what he's doing, it's a fake block. You pretend that you're blocking and then you drop off the net and become a defender. But if you don't get there quick enough, you're out of position and it could cost you. Oh, that's a good side out for the Canadians. Really 15, solid. 16. Yeah, Binstock is, is really getting in that groove. He's, his shots are becoming more sharp. You saw that just land inside the back line. So Canada looking strong. Oh, that is a naughty mistake. A double contact there from the big man, Varenhorst, and that allows Canada to tie the score. Whenever you set the ball, it has to come out nice and clean. You can't hit the ball twice. It has to be one smooth, simultaneous contact, not one and then the other. That will be a violation every time. Here you see the ball looks simultaneous but it doesn't come out as clean as the head referee would like it it's a judgment call he calls a double contact point for canada a very important point for canada 16 all the scores are all leveled and this is just the first set it is the canadian captain josh binstock the 34 year old from toronto who floats the ball deep into the dutch court oh great dig there from shakta can he save it what a shame for canada oh gotta be the dig of the match so far yeah i love it i call that the impact zone you get in the impact zone you put on your helmet and your armor and it's coming right at you but shakter did not flinch he got that ball up almost playable by his partner Oh, there's another good save from Numidor who comes up to the net to finish it. Has to take it on the second ball. Shakta. It's still up. Binstock. Oh, Binstock takes it for Canada. Side out, and again the scores are leveled. Well, Nick, that's the tenacity that you mentioned, coming from the Canadians, not giving up on any play. They're fighters, they dig deep, and that is a massive point for them to tie this thing up at 17. Such great control. Look at him, torque in the air, the body control, and then drop off the net. His hands are up in the perfect defensive position, and then Binstock is able to hit it at the retreating Varenhorst. Varenhorst tries a fake block, doesn't get in position in time, and he's caught off guard. Sam Schachter with the service for Canada, 17 all. Remember, he had a really good service run just a short while ago. Can he find another run to put Canada in the lead here? Oh, yes. It's long, and it is. Canada, 18-17. Point number 18 for Canada. Side switch. Who is here for Canada? Very impressive with the I'm very impressed with the way Canada is playing right now. They are not flinching. They've hung in there. Now they have really stolen the momentum and the lead. Now just three points away from winning the first set. Shot 
after again with service into Varun. Horse with the set. Here's Numador. Spots the angle very nicely to level the scores at 18. All side out for the Dutch team here. Yeah, expect the Dutch to make a push here. You know, they're not going to go quietly. They have controlled most of this set. Canada now has the momentum, but look out for something special, maybe from Varenhurst. The big man's at the net for Holland. Oh, a good save from the Canadians. Takes it on the second ball. Sam Schachter sees the opportunity, steps in there rather than sits. And Canada go back to the lead and back with service. I really like that play because it's extremely intelligent. You know that there's an open court, and why would you want to set your partner when you see it? Look, Greater Numidor is in the cross court. The line is wide open. He executes it to perfection. Now, uh, Josh Binstock would love an ace here right now. He's gone for the jump serve. Varenhorst attacking for the Dutch at the net. Oh, the block is there, but it's too long. Good attempt from Josh Binstock to try and take set point for Canada. But it goes the Dutch team's way, and they're all tied once again at 19 all. Yeah, I love this right now. It's going to be a game to two. Who can get a two-point advantage? Here's that block, nice and solid, but a little bit too strong and out of bounds. Good save from Numador, who tries to finish it. Ooh, a lift con contact, so he's saying that there's not enough velocity on the ball. When that ball gets hit at you and it has a lot of velocity, it's got to come out a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker. That's considered a lift. Here it comes in. You cannot hold the ball too long. If you do, the head referee will call a lift. You have to release it a much quicker. And as we take a look at the replay, here comes Numador in to hit the ball and attack. Binstock drops off, keeping his hands up and ready to dig the ball. But the hit doesn't come with enough velocity for him to hold the ball as long as he did. And that is why the violation's called, and Canada is forced to call a timeout. They're forced to call a timeout, Dane, because it is a set point for Holland in 2019. Let's see if we can hear what the Dutch are communicating. Well, my Dutch isn't that fluent or all that good at all, but you can clearly work out for yourselves that uh, more of the same is what Numidor wants from Varenhorst. He can sense that if they can get this first set away, the heat will be quite clearly off the Dutch team. And this is now a crucial point. Captain of the Dutch side, Binstock, will take this service. The Canadians must side out here. And they do just that, and it is Binstock, Josh Binstock, who puts it away. He must win by two points clear, remember. So Canada still have their hopes alive here in this first set. Sam Schachter with service for the Canadians. Oh, the big man, the power horse of the Dutch team, slams one down. And even Josh Binstock cannot stop that one. Crucial timing right there for Varenhorst to put that ball high off the block. Second set point for the Dutch. Here comes Schachter up at the net. Great shot. The pressure was on. And rising to the challenge, Sam Schachter, still only 25 years of age. The, uh, one of the youngest and least experienced players on the court, but you wouldn't think so with this shot. He hits that right down the alley. And look at Numidor is in the line. He's playing for the line, but decides to let that ball go, thinking it's out of bounds. Pinstock with service for Canada. They're all tied at 21. Is Varenhorst for Holland at the net? Oh, yes. Very nice set as well from his teammate, Reinder Numidor. They really complement each other well. You know the traditional setup is now a very tall player and a shorter player playing defense, and they seem to get along well, they communicate well, and Varnhorst is learning so much from his older partner, the 38-year-old experienced veteran in Reinder Numidor. Third set point for the Dutch here. Binstock at the net. 
It's there. The cheekiest of shots from the Varenhorst to take the first set, but a point is a point, and the Dutch take set one, 23-21 against Canada. That was incredible. You don't usually see a fake block into the angle. It's usually down the line. Check this out. Varenhorst decides to fake block and drop into the angle, puts his hands up. Look at this. And fortunately for him, the ball stays in play on the Canadian side, and you'll take it any way you can get it. Binstock laying it out. I'm sorry, Shatner laying it out and could not get that ball up. So a fortunate bounce for Vardenhorst with the drop block dig. You don't see that very often. Coming over on one, catching the Canadians off guard. And that will do it for the first set. So a little back and forth action in set number one. Both teams playing of an extremely high level, but it's the Netherlands coming away with the victory. That's a bit of a shame for Canada because they lost their way in the mid part of that first set, but refocused with a very good service run. Eventually, I want you to be able to burn him, and I don't want him to see it coming. But I want you to work through a short that was interesting. The Canadians basically both doing a lot of talking, but not a list, not a lot of listening. <laughs> basically explaining their point of view and what needs to, to happen out there. But I, I believe the Canadians played at a very high level. They played composed with a lot of confidence. They were right there. They could have could have went their way very easily. And more of the same for the Canadians. And hopefully for them, they can tie this up at one set apiece. That's the perfect start. Nice roll shot down the line. It's a big guessing game when you got a guy like Reinder Numidor in the backcourt. You have to make sure you keep him in your peripheral vision and try to anticipate where he's going to play defensively. This is Sam Schachter with service, the youngster of the Canadian duo, just 25 years of age. He's read that one nicely. Oh, but not the best of set. Makes life difficult at the net. Canada do well to keep the ball up. Varenhorst sets for Numidor. Big spike, great block, but it's just a little too deep. No, it's good. It's down. My apologies. 2-0. Good start for Canada. Binstock with a huge block into the angle. Numidor not happy with himself at all because he had a huge opportunity. Here's the joust. We call that when both players hit it simultaneously, a joust above the net. And then Numidor with a free ball opportunity. All he has to do is roll it to the deep corner. He tries to overpower Binstock, and Binstock makes him pay. Sam Schachter again with service. Uh, Canada 2-0 up in the second set that are trailing one set to love. Varenhorst. Oh, wow. That is so fast, the speed that he gets from the ball. Let's not forget, 6 foot 11, 211 centimeters, but he's very athletic as well for a guy so tall. He's absolutely hammering that ball. You do not want to be on the receiving end of that. Good touch from Schachter. Nice shot. Over the top, dropping down right on the line at the base or the back of the court. That's one of the most difficult shots to execute, that deep corner high roll shot. Takes a lot of skill. In stock with service. Well, it works this time for Numidor. And uh, Numidor putting uh, Holland's first point on the board, 3-1. No panic, no sweat just yet for the Dutch. And it is the Netherlands captain, Numidor, puts the ball into play. Here's the set, Schachter on the attack now. I like the way Canada's coming out right now. They're really being patient with themselves, challenging Varnhorst. When you play a guy who's 6'11", a lot of times you try to avoid him and you end up hitting the ball out of bounds. Canada has gone right at him. They have completely accepted the challenge. Sam Schacht has had the most success for the Canadians with his service. Nice float serve right down the middle of the Dutch team. 
Varenhorst just tips it over the top this time of Josh Binstock to bring the Dutch team within one point of Canada and as the total point score reaches seven, side switch. Good roll shot by the youngster Varenhorst. Usually a, a tall player as such doesn't have the greatest of touch, but that's not the case with Varnhorst. He can shoot the ball basically anywhere he wants with beautiful touch. Look how difficult Sam Schachter found it to control that serve from Varnhorst, but the Canadians still put it away. 5-3, two points clear. Believe you me, the Canadians down there on center court know they need to win the second set. Yeah, whenever you lose that first set, it puts a... Uh, uh, a tremendous amount of pressure on you because you don't have that that cushion of playing relaxed playing comfortable because there's that pressure that if we don't step it up now we might be on the next flight home so you want to really win that first set it puts you in position to really play your game there's numador and that's what i'm saying he after they won that first set you could see it's almost a sigh of relief you want to get that upper hand and then you can play a little bit more relaxed as the other team sometimes seizes up and gets tight but canada really hasn't changed their game they've played, played nice and consistent throughout Oh, good work from Josh Binstock at the net there. That intimidating character of Christian Varenhorst staring down at him, but uh, the timing of the shot perfect from that Binstock to keep Canada's two-point lead advantage. Side out for Canada, service with Sam Schachter. Good dig from Varenhorst there. Oh, and a super powerful spike. Side out for Holland, pull a point back. 5-6. The Dutch are a very difficult duo to play against. You think a big, tall player would try to hit the ball straight down, but he used the entire court. Look at him go for that deep back corner. I like his serve as well. It is very fast and powerful. Oh, but this time, Sam Schachter gets the better of Bottom Horst at the net. Two points clear once again for Canada. I really like the, the way... Schachter got up here, challenged Varnhorst, and went right off the block and out of bounds. So here's the 34-year-old captain of Canada, Josh Bistock. Varnhorst on the attack. Great block, a fantastic dig, and a good point for Canada. Oh, Sam Schachter did so well to keep the ball up there and Binstock finished it off for him. Well, this is beautiful teamwork. Look at Binstock pressing over the net. He just gets a piece of it, and he controls it in the air for his partner to have an opportunity. Then look at Binstock. Schachter keeps it off the net. Binstock gets an opportunity, and he kind of shoves it into Varenhorst's hands, and he cannot handle it. Binstock serves. Canada now three ahead of Holland. Oh, off the fingertips of uh, Binstock at the net there. The Dutch pull one back, 8-6 to Canada. It's a challenge for Binstock. You, you have to change the angle of your block because of the height of Varnhorst. Remember, Varnhorst, 211 centimeters at 6'11". Binstock, 196 centimeters at 6'5". So it's very difficult because Varnhorst is playing at such a high level. Oh, that's the skill that some tractor needs to show a little bit more of it. As Dane Blanton, himself a former Olympic champion, has pointed out, I'm not sure you want to go head-to-head, toe-to-toe with the big man Varenhorst at the net, but skillful shots like that will give Canada quick points. Yeah, you have to have it. You can't power it into him because he's going to block you. You can't shoot it low because we've seen him slam it right back in your face. So you have to be very meticulous on where and precise on where you're going to put that shot. Oh, Sam Schachter puts that way too off to the left. He's furious with himself, understandably so. Now the big challenge, talking about Varnhorst, once you get it past him, you have to deal with a defender in Numador. That's what makes the Netherlands so difficult to defeat. Oh, service error from the big man, Varnhorst. Canada back to three points advantage. 
but this time it will be the turn of Josh Binstock to serve. Binstock in the red and white caps, Schachter in the black cap for the Canadian, Binstock wearing vest one. Comes up at the net here. Oh, yes, but a little bit of soccer action from Varen Horst, but Binstock, second time of asking, puts it down. <laughs> that was incredible. The ball ricochets off the block, and Varen Horst, in his follow-through, hitting the ball, ends up digging it with his foot. Check this in super slow-mo. As he hits the ball, it comes and ricochets off the right foot. Incredible luck and skill, I would call it, by Varnhorst. But Binstock is too good at the net, and he terminates the rally. That's got to be the rally of the match so far. Oh, well, the Dutch are as famous for their soccer as they are for their <laughs> volleyball and all of those skills in play. But Canada come out on top. A timeout has been called. I would imagine that Varnhorst must have been watching the Champions League last <laughs> nice. night, where basically time stops, it seems, when the Champions League play goes on. And I was comparing it to a friend of mine, and this was like the Super Bowl here in Europe, and they said it's much bigger than that. Let's take a look again at this football play by Varnhorst. He buries the ball. It's blocked, but he digs it with the right foot. And he digs it perfectly to his partner, Numidor, who sets it a little too tight. And it's Binstock who has the last laugh and gets the point for Canada. That is why beach volleyball is one of the most exciting sports on the planet. Oh, great play that Canada have the advantage and they need to keep this advantage. They're trailing one set to zero and there's Varenhorst booming it down. But what another great dig from Sam Schachter. Here he comes again. Schachter saves it again. Now can Schachter finish it this time for Canada? That is amazing play from the 25-year-old Canadian. One of the least experienced players on the course going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the biggest man in the tournament and Canada come out on top and now are five clear of the Dutch. Not one dig, but two digs from the powerful Varenhorst. Look, at, he is unleashing the ball, but Schachter in the backcourt is not flinching. He's digging the ball up perfectly for the second time. He puts it away and look at the emotion from Schachter. He is starting to feel it as they expand their lead to five. This second set is turning into a classic here. Binstock with the service. So uh, here is uh, the big Dutchman again. This time he makes it count. Varen Horst getting a little angry out there, finding even more aggression in the spike. And uh, finally the Dutch pull one back, but they're still trailing by four. Big guys do not like to be blocked there. Binstock takes one off the top of his head. That's part of the job when you're a blocker. It just happens. Oh, I have to say, uh, Valen Horst doesn't quite get it where he wants it at the net, but he's still down in the sand trying to dig as well. Very athletic player for somebody with such great height. Yeah, he jumps, jumps up high to try to block the ball. If it gets shot past him, he's able to land. He has that versatility and that movement to move and try to attempt to go after. Here it is, the big block. The ball is poked over him. He's able to land, adjust, and then try to explode. We call that the turn and burn. It's like you land and you gotta fire the afterburners to try to get out of that spot to get it up. It's a difficult play to make, especially for a 6'11 player in Barnhorse, but I love the technique and I love the attempt because more times than not, he's gonna get that ball up in the air. That's a great call, Jane. I love the commitment from the Dutch team. And they're one set up, but uh, they're not happy to find themselves at 13-8 down against the Canadians. Uh, you know the rules and regulations as well as we do. You have to, Canada has to take the second set to stay in the semi-final and keep their hopes alive of progressing through to the last match of this beach uh, volleyball. World Series opener here. This is the first of four majors on the FIVB World Tour. Once we wrap up proceedings here, we'll head to Stavanger next week.
and then the, the third stop in Gestad, Switzerland, and then the season finale in Fort Lauderdale, USA, in September. Well, it doesn't really matter which side you're cheering for in the centre court here amongst the crowd. This has been a brilliant matchup. Canada against the Netherlands. Whoa, another good save from Schachter, who... Oh, that's unlucky. Schachter not happy with himself, but he is so impressive on defense. He controls the hard-driven ball almost better than anything I've ever seen. He absorbs it so nicely. Varnhurst is going to have to mix things up instead of hit right at him, you know, because Varnhurst has been hitting right at Schachter as he puts that ball away, and he, he does not flinch. He gets that ball in the perfect position. Here on offense, he wished he could have done this on the last play and scored the point. He goes right down the middle. We call that a field goal, right in the middle of the blocker's arms. In stock with service. Varenhorst now on the attack for Holland. Cuts that cross court. A little bit of help from the net as well. Near impossible for the Canadians to make the return. 11 14. This is the Canadians uh, set to lose. I mean, they are in control. They have the momentum they have from the beginning. If they can continue this consistency, they'll be in great shape. A little quick shot over the net by Binstock. A surprise from all of us. Looked like he was going to set the ball, but he hit it on two. And that's what you want to do to keep the opposition on their toes and guessing what you're going to do next. Canada five clear. Schachter with service. Oh, the ball is good. And it's as if uh, Varenhorst heard you there, Dane. He needs to mix it up a little. And there he is. Yeah, mixing it up. This game is not all about power. Even at 6'11", you have to have the shots. And this one, very precise. Even the quick defender in Schachner could not run it down. Takes it on the second ball. Schachter. And is successful. 16-11. Schachter and Binstock really complement each other. You know, they've been playing together since 2013, playing in their 11th Beach Volleyball World Tour tournament together, and it looks like they've been playing forever the way they complement each other. Binstock knows that they need to keep this run going up at the net, not the best of sets, and uh, Varenhorst touches the net, giving another point to Canada, 17-11. Side switch. You notice that uh, Varenhorst is really being picked on right now. They are not, they haven't really tested Numidor at all, which is rare, a lot of times we see teams go to the shorter player not the big powerful player but Canada knows Numidor has an array of shot a huge arsenal so they're going at Varnhorst who's a little more one-dimensional in terms of powering the ball there's the power right there Schachner could not get to it but he prefers the power and Canada thinks that they can defend that big powerful hit more than they can defend Reinder Numidor, who shoots the ball around more often. Well, never mind defend it. If you blink, you don't even see it, Dane. It is so fast. Oh, a little bit of uh, luck for Canada. And they're uh, now six clear at 18-12. It's looking good for Canada to take this to the third set. Some tractor with service. Varenhorst on the attack. Oh, again, that cross court spike effective. Side out for the Dutch. Still five behind Canada. Varenhorst really likes to hit that angle. If I'm Canada, I would have Binstock jump into the angle late and try to block it. Oh, Binstock does well to take it on the second ball and find the angle. Let's see if Canada does make that adjustment. It seems like they're going to Varnhorst exclusively, so if they serve him, it'll be interesting to watch. 
if Binstock jumps into the angle. Binstock serves Varenhorst. Varenhorst now up at the net. But he does. He jumped into the angle, forcing Varenhorst to finally hit the ball down the line. So that's that game of cat and mouse, that chess match of anticipation and trying to guess the opposition's tendencies. See Binstock at the net. He tries to block angle. Varenhorst sees it and hits it down the line. Great serve at a very important time to put down an ace from uh, Reinder Numidor. Canada have called a timeout. Very interesting timing for Canada to be calling a timeout with the lead in control but maybe they, you know they just want to take a breath when you have that one timeout take a breath relax Make sure that you do everything you need to do to finish this set. So Josh Binstock, closest to your screens, and his young partner Sam Schachter, just 25 years of age. Sam, that nine different, nine years of difference from an age perspective across the Canadian team. And I think the crowd are cheering for both teams here. They have seen some spectacular volleyball, but this is the point now where Canada need to dig deep and save the second set to keep this semi-final rolling on into a third. Here is the Dutch captain, Reinder Numidor with service. Schachter sets for Binstock. Binstock, ah, puts the ball, it's good. The ball is good. And it is a set point for Canada. That's a huge point right there. It makes the timeout completely worth it. That's why they called the timeout. And that ball very close, but most importantly, they're at set point. Sam Schachter with service for Canada. Oh, it was almost like Numidor was going to leave it. Numidor is at the net. Oh, and they pull one back. 17-20. Still set point for the Canadians as they receive the Netherlands. Varenhorst with service. Set point number two for Canada. Here comes Schachter. Oh, a good dig from Numador. Oh, and they get another one back. Pressure is on Canada now. If I'm Canada, I want to become aggressive. I'm not going to win this set by shooting the ball with a great player like Numador in the backcourt. Come in aggressive if you're Schachner. Put that ball away with authority. Still third set point for Canada. Here comes Schachter at the net. It's good! Canada! take this match to three Canada stay in the chase for a spot in this afternoon's final Canada have beaten Holland 21 18 to take the second set Binstock and Schachter are still in the hunt here yeah, that's what I like that's a definitive hit down the middle no question about it for the Canadians putting that one away remember the first ball Schachner kind of so soft-served it over the net. This time, he brings all sorts of thunder going right down the middle, splitting not only the blocker, but the defender who is sliding into the line. Look at how he just gets it past Varnhurst's left hand and down for the point. Canada played well from start to finish right there, and now they have the momentum as we roll into the third set. It's interesting, if you win the first set, we said that, you know, you can get a little lax, you can relax a little bit, kind of get comfortable and play your game, but you can also let your guard down a little, and I think that's what happened to the Netherlands in the second set. Let's listen in to the Canadians. 
Because that's what he's scoring on. It's like Kane. They try to beat me high, and then they knew they can't, so then they're going low now. So I have to readjust. Interesting. He, what Binstock said is they were beating him high in terms of offensively. Now they're beating him low, and he has to adjust. That's what you want to hear from a captain of the team, saying that he needs to, he's going to take responsibility, he knows what they're trying to do, and he's going to make the adjustment. It'll be interesting how Binstock responds in set three. This is the men's semi-final at the Swatch Beach Volleyball Major Series in Prec, Croatia. It is one set all in the first of the two semi-finals. Canada up against Holland. Holland put the first point on the board. Now, quick reminder that we'll only go to 15 if either team can stay two points clear as we go in to this third set. This is how you open up the third set. Varnhorst has got a full serving of serves today, a full helping, and Canada continues to target him. It's going to be up to him to step up to the challenge. Schachner feeling very, very confident on that right side. Even with the 6'11 barn horse in his face, he is unleashing. And he started it at the end of that second set, and he's continued it here into set number three. Pinched up with service for the Canadian team. This is Van Horst attacking at the net. Point to the Dutch. Ball must have hit quickly off Binstock's arm and then hit the antenna because that ball was whistled dead immediately. This is Varenhorst with serve. Float serve to Schachter. Set for Schachter. Oh, it's a little long. But it's touched the fingers, it looks like, of uh, Christian Varenhorst. 2-2. Two -two. Love what Schachner's doing. At six foot six, he's a... He's a tall player himself, but a challenge facing Varnhorst, but he has really varied his attack. He's come with the thunder, hitting the ball down, used the top of the hands, tooling the block. We've seen the finesse shots as well. Good shot from uh, Varnhorst. Give the advantage back to the Dutch team at 3-2. Remember in this quick game to 15 that we switch sides on increments of five instead of seven in the first two sets when we're playing to 21. And of course that is so that no team gets an advantage due to the wind or the sun. And right now the sun right above center court. It's a little breezy, but down on the sand, it's very still. New deal with service. Oh, that's not a good time for a service error. It's real. Three all. You can see uh, Rinder furious with himself, shaking his head there. Well, you notice the Canadians have completely taken Rinder Numador out of this. It's very quiet. We don't see a lot of action from him. It's a very smart strategy by the Canadians because we have documented it well how experienced Numador is. Good block. Absolutely spot on for Binstock. And the body language tells us that he's gaining in confidence. You remember what Binstock said at the timeout. He said they were beating him high. Now they're beating him low. I need to make the adjustment. There's the adjustment. It results in a point. It is Binstock with the serve. Here's the set from Numador for his partner. This time, Varenhor sets for Numador. Ra well, reads it well. Good point for the Netherlands. Good shot from Rinder Numador. Numador read that one nice. He's recognized that Binstock is going to block his cross court. Instead of hitting this cross court, he rolls it over the block. Perfect execution. Almost an identical tactical play, but this time from Canada. Some Schachter puts the ball away with a nice cut. Canada back with the advantage at 5-4. Schachner's been most impressive 
with his array of offensive shot and his stellar defense in the backcourt. Here's uh, Sam Schachter with service. Numidor sets set for Varenhorst. Again, at 6 feet 11, 211 centimeters, he gets such height when the set is put for him so well by his teammates. <laughs> and he blasted that one. It went up into about the fifth row of the stand, so he got some great elevation on the bounce. But he is one of the hardest hitters on tour, no question about it, Varnhorst. Dutch captain Numidor with the service, floats it deep into the Canadian court. Here's Schachter, cross court. Not quite there, Numidor. Side out for side out, they're trading them with each other at the moment. Spectacular play, all four athletes really going at it, leaving it all on the court, and that's exactly, exactly what you want to see here in this semi-final situation. Numidor sets it up for Varenhorst. Oh, that's the dig from Sam Schachter. Now they're back in position here, the Canadians. Sam Schachter at the net, Numidor blocks. Oh, and Varenhorst again doing great work as the defense at the net. Third time he puts it down, three back-to-back -back blocks. And that is the big man from Holland showing his skills to perfection. Excellent work from Christian Varenhorst. That is incredible. I've never seen a player block that many balls in one rally. There was the first one. There's another one. The Canadians, I thought, would opt to shoot the ball, but they keep trying to hit it through Varenhorst, and finally, he ends up stuffing it right back at Binstock. So I love the aggression by Canada, but Varenhorst is blocked seems to be unflappable. And Baron Horst it is with service. Now can Binstock go? That's a better tactic. A little bit more of a cut on the ball. They've learned the hard way that the straight shot at Baron Horst's block will not work. That was such a great succession of blocking in one, in one rally for Baron Horst to keep that type of focus was incredible. Here's that Sam Schachter with service for Canada. 7-6 ahead of the Dutch. First to 15, but must be by two clear points. Numador with a little pokey. Doesn't quite work. A great dig from Schachter. Oh! That looked to be off his head. Was that a header? We've seen him kick the ball with his feet. Now he heads it over the net. Oh, -ho, this man has got as many soccer skills as he has on the beach court. It was interesting. He, you know what he did is he fake blocked because he knew Here's the dig, beautiful dig, and expecting the block to be there, but Varnhorst drops his hands. He does that purposely, and then somehow gets hit in the face and ends up blocking the ball anyways. Incredible. Well, that's a Glaswegian kiss, they call that up in Scotland. <laughs> oh, and what an effective way. A point, a point. Seven all. Spectacular beach volleyball here in this semi. Oh, service error from uh, the Dutch oh, captain, yeah. Numidor. That allows Canada to side out and go 8-7 ahead. Still could go either way, this third and final set. Binstock with service for Canada. Numidor sets for the big man, and he puts another one away. Binstock furious with himself, but he's not able to contain that attacking shot. I like Binstock's attitude. He turns to his partner, Schachner, immediately, and he says, my bad. Look, he turns. That's me. That's on me. I got to make the adjustment. It's a sign of a leader. Oh, and Binstock puts another one away. Really solid, and Binstock is working out there. He's the full-time blocker, so he's has, having to run to the net each and every time. You can see him huffing a pu and puffing a little bit after that put away, and this is where you want to be. This is where you dream of being, playing Sunday afternoon in a major series event in the semifinals. You want to leave it all on the court. 
Now let's see if that dream can come true for the Canadians. Oh, another good shot from Christian Varenhorst. He's only 25 years of age. From the Hague. If I'm Canada, I want to take away his favorite shot. And he has shown us this favorite shot is hitting the ball angle as hard as he can. So maybe jump into that angle, force him to hit line, make him do something that he doesn't want to. Bin Stockers hoping for a better kick off the net there, hoping that it would just come ready for his dig, save, and set, but not to be. And a bit of bad luck, I'd say, there for Josh Pinster. Well, this is why you don't pass the ball close to the net. You don't want to pass it close to the net because that can happen right there. It's difficult to see how it's going to come out of the net. It ricochets high on him and ends up not in his arms, but right off of his forehead. Unfortunate for Canada. Well, the second headed ball of the match, but unfortunately for Canada, not going the right way. Now, let's see if Sam Tractor can put this away, because the Dutch have taken the lead, but now Canada level the scores. Once again, 10 all. This one is exciting. It's going to come down to the wire, no question about it, because these two <coughs> teams are very equal right now. I mean, you can look at the seating and whatever, but when they get on the court, they really match up well. They're trading side outs. It's Canada with service. Here's Josh Binstock. This time, Numidor's up at the net on the attack. And a great save. Good defensive play from Schachter. But the big man blocks the Canadians out again. 11-10. Canada decides to switch it up and go to Numidor. They make a great defensive play, have an opportunity to score, but Varnhorst says not so much. Net violation on Varnhorst. 11 all. Oh, this is very tight. Very close, and there you see the big Dutch player making contact with the net. The referee saw it very quickly. Sam Schachter serves the ball into play for Canada. Numador sets it up to Barrenhorst on that cross-court spike. It's his favourite shot. He's missed so few and put down so many. It's so hard to defend because it's, it's at such a sharp angle, and even if you're there, he's hitting it with such force and such velocity that it makes it very difficult for even a great defender to dig. Oh, good shot. 12 all. Well, as our expert and former Olympic beach volleyball champion, Dame Blanton, has pointed out, you forget the seedings at this point. These guys are going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Both teams playing brilliant beach volleyball. Both teams pushing themselves right to the edge of their game here. Now let's see which one has got the focus to keep the momentum going. Oh, Numador. That's an uncharacteristic error from the Dutch captain. And that allows Canada to go 13-12 into the lead. Of all four players on the court, he would be the last player I would expect to shank a ball backwards. Not a tough serve, but he loses focus for just a half second, and he knows immediately that they were going to lose that one because of the shank pass. Pinstock continues with service. Oh, another mistake from Numador, and it is match point for Canada. Oh, Numador, two points in succession where he's just lost his focus and concentration. Timeout is called, understandably so, by the Dutch team. Here's Pinstock, a nice float, jump float serve. It moves and it catches him high, so it rises at the last second. And the reason Numidor is so upset with himself is both of those serves could have been passed really well. He is accustomed to passing that ball. Usually it doesn't give him any type of a problem, but the thing is, what Canada did is they, by serving Varnhurst over and over, 
Reindeer Numidor got in the groove of being the setter, and then all of a sudden they served him a couple times, and he wasn't ready for it. And he knows that he was a bit out of focus, a bit out of his groove, and two crucial points for the Canadians may be the difference between this match. Well, you've called it, Dane. Those two points could mean that Canada are going to book themselves a spot in the final here. And a massive career best for this team. Josh Binstock has been in an FIVB Final Four before, four times in his career. But as a team, this is their first Final Four in a major or a Grand Slam tournament. This is it for Canada. Dutch must put this one away. Numador looks to make amends for his errors. Varenstock sets up Numador. Numador, Varenstock now, and Varenstock puts it away. Oh, saving the match points. Well, that was expected. I thought that the Netherlands would eventually side out and get the ball back. Now the pressure mounts. This is where Canada has to shine. And Canada, just as we saw in the last set, when they got to this point, they called a timeout to relax. To They're in control. They're one point away. They know that they need to just receive serve one time and they are moving on to the final. So why not use the timeout that they haven't used thus far? Relax, get in a groove, talk about it a little, and then come out and finish the job. There's a golden opportunity for Canada here. 14-13 up against the Dutch side, Numidor and Varenhorst. And Binstock and Schachter on screen. Binstock, the captain to the right, the youngster of the two at just 25 years of age. Sam Schachter are on the verge of a massive career best here as a team. Crowd are on their feet. Can Canada pull it off or can Holland pull this point back? And put the pressure on, here it is. It is Varenhorst with service. Schachter, Binstock, Numidor has to put the ball right over. Binstock sets for Sam Schachter. It's there! Canada have caused an upset, a huge upset. Canada advanced to the final by putting the number six seed of Holland out in the first of the two semis. Oh, what a great performance from Josh Binstock and Sam Schachter. Out of Richmond, Ontario, the Canadian team have dug deep. And in the closing stages of this third and final set, two errors from the captain of the Dutch side, Reinder Numador, turned the match to the advantage of Canada. And Canada took full advantage of the situation to take the win. Taking a look at match ball, it was not easy. This big hit by Binstock was dug by Numidor, but then Schachner, who's had an absolutely beautiful semifinal thus far, leave it up to him to get that ball to the ground and get the kill. To give Canada so much credit, but fr from a strategic standpoint, they played so well. They continued on Varnhorst the entire match, basically taking Reinder Numidor out of the match, but then decided to switch things up late in the third set. It caught Numidor off guard. He wasn't ready. He shanked two passes, resulting in two aces, and it was an incredible run for the Canadians. Let's go down to the court to Olympic champion Julian Brink, who's with the Canadians. Here we are, the Canadians just rocked the court. Hey man, how does that feel? Uh, it's hard to put in words right now. We're kind of just trying not to think about it, but now uh, we can let it soak in and it's uh, pretty indescribable. I mean, it's the first ever medal on a Grand Slam or Swatch Major Series since 1997. Yeah, that's a pretty long time. It's a long overdue, so we're pretty we're pretty proud to do that for our country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, what a spectacular performance from the Canadian team, and uh, words are beyond the two Canadian players, but most importantly now, Dane, those two gentlemen need to go and rest, gather their focus, because there's no reason playing like they have done this morning. They could turn this semi-final into a gold medal winning performance for the competition. Well, with the volleyball that I just saw them playing, that high level and consistency, they can beat anybody out here, and that's the thing with the men 
men's tour, even you know, on both sides, the men and the women, they're so deep, there's so much parity. And if you bring your A game and you can start playing when it matters, you can beat anybody out here. And I'm really looking forward to seeing Canada perform and maybe have the personal best winning a first major of their career. Well, let's confirm that Josh Binstock and Sam Schachter, the number 17 seeds from Canada, have beaten the number six seeds from Holland, Reinder Numador and Christian Varenhorst, by two sets to one in a thrilling third set clash that saw the Canadians get the better of Holland and win the first of the two semi finals. We will be back in just a short while with that second semi final. From Nick Fellows and the Olympic champion Dane Blanton, thanks for your company. It's goodbye for now.